Topping our news, Catoosa County Sheriff's officers are charging Roger Barrett for blocking a school bus and refusing to leave until he got the name and address of a certain child. The sheriff says Barrett did that because the student had given Barrett's wife the finger. Liam Collins has more on this story from Ringgold. Hello, Liam. Right, and David, and this all happened yesterday and was all caught on camera. Police say Roger Barrett left the scene before officers got there and is now facing charges. And a, a parent who, told, who uh, I spoke to today says she's just glad it didn't go any further. This is Roger Barrett. He appears to be a farmer from the logo on his truck, and now he's charged with a misdemeanor for what's seen on this video. The Catoosa County Sheriff's Office says Barrett stopped a school bus with nearly two dozen children inside. In this video, Barrett says a boy on the bus gave his wife the finger. He repeatedly says he won't let the bus go anywhere until he finds out the child's name and address. Um, and I let him know he was being really irrational and that there's little kids on the bus just trying to get home to their parents. Scarlett Rutherford's middle school aged child was on the bus. She recorded this video of a heated exchange with another parent. I think it was a uh, pride or ego thing or I, I don't know. I thought it was a little crazy that he got his feelings hurt by a minor and made that big of a deal out of it. <laughs> Rutherford drove her daughter home from the intersection Monday afternoon. In a statement, Catoosa County Superintendent Chance Nick said the driver of the bus followed their protocol and called the director of the Department of Transportation, who then in turn called 911. Nix continued saying, quote, I appreciate the quick response from our bus driver, director of transportation and the sheriff's office. I know this was a scary situation for our students and parents. Barrett called police but left before deputies arrived. He turned himself in Tuesday morning and is charged with disruption or interference with operation of public schools. It's a pretty big deal stopping a bus full of kids um, and making them all nervous and upset over that. A district spokesperson says Barrett never actually entered the bus. He was released from jail today on a $1,000 bond. Reporting live from Ringgold's Liam Collins, Local 3 News.